Hello, this is Terry at Heavy Duty Power Train again. Uh, got a new product that I uh, put together for uh, actually 2016, and it's uh, uh, called a uh, unswitch power kit. And uh, <clears throat> this has got all the uh, specifications that uh, that. Uh, come and suggest uh, of what I've read and everything. It has uh, two uh, fuse holder, 15 amp fuse holder kits, miscellaneous terminals, and, uh, <clears throat> and the uh, correct plug on it to um, get this wired <clears throat> the ECM uh, unswitch power, which would mean <clears throat> this needs to be hot all the time and ground all the time. And this uh, middle one here is your ground, the black one. And the two red are a pair of uh, hot wires. So you can take these fuse holders <clears throat> and uh, a lot of times, a couple of different ways of going about it. Some people, Come out here and um, show you here, and uh, bundle these two hots together, and put one fuse holder on it, and then this is your ground. And sometimes they put a, they want to use the fuse holder for that. So you get a ground and a uh, hot fuse holder. Other times people want to just hook up the ground to the battery with these terminals in here, and then. Uh, use uh, two different batteries to run your uh, hots off. Kind of like a marine application in case one battery goes bad or something like that. So uh, this uh, currently sells in 2017 for $125. It's about eight foot long. And uh, it, uh, we almost sell one of these with every UCM we sell. <clears throat> Okay. All right. This here is a M11 Select Plus harness, but the, the plug is the same whether it be M11 or M14. This runs down a little bit from the ECM plug down here. M14 might be a little bit longer. As you can see, it's like 12 gauge wire and it's got a <clears throat> connector on here. It's a weather pack connector made by uh, Delphi, I believe. And uh, <clears throat> that's what if this hasn't been cut off, um, which happens, you know, 15, 20 year old trucks and they run wires direct to this, to the battery and, uh, you know, kind of cobble it up and stuff. But uh, this is basically a universal OEM connector to do the job right. And it's got weather pack seals on it and it's made it made for this connector here. So. You know, you just uh, shove it in like that, and uh, connect it up, and then uh, make all your connections. And uh, this is uh, really important because this connection right here, uh, in a lot of cases, you know, I've sold brand new harnesses like this, but. They never had the new harness in the right plug and wiring to plug into this. And uh, what happens is this gets all corroded in here and this OEM harness going from here to the batteries for the power of your ECM. And then uh, a lot of times these will get corroded so bad that the barb slips out and this actually backs out of the harness and uh, you know you think you're plugging it in but 
there really isn't. You know, this will back out a quarter of an inch and then you're not getting ground or you're not getting, <clears throat> not getting hot. So uh, that's the uh, tip of the month here for right now. And um, and uh, just do this a quickie. This is a cam sensor, so you know, I put it on other videos, but you know, just so you can uh, you know it's got four wires or two pair here, and uh, they're a backup pair. And I always like to twist them a little bit. You know, a lot of this. Uh, signal stuff is kind of like your typical PC networking and uh, you, you know twisting them causes uh, less crosstalk especially if you got a alternator with a diode starting to go bad or something so that's that and you need 11 16 wrench with a slot cut down it so you can put the socket on it and this just twist around so you can uh, do what you want with it yeah, and this is a fuel solenoid. Okay, and that's on top of your fuel pump, another high fail item. And uh, that's about it. My phone number is 810-653-6300. You wanna text me or want some text pictures or what have you, I'm doing all this uh, just to help you guys for free. So don't feel like there's any uh, tricks to try to get your money. I appreciate if you can uh, buy products from us. And that website is in14parts.com. And uh, the email address is terry at in14parts.com. And that text number again is 727-494-5514. Have a great day. And, uh, don't scrap them. Let's uh, keep these Cummins uh, select and select pluses uh, going. You just got to get on top of the renewing the uh, electronics. And I can help you do that. Thank you.